object games have been around for a long time, but they've been decreasing in popularity over the years. So I decided to take the helm and create the scariest hidden object game. I even invited a special guest at the end of the video to play the game, so stay tuned for the final product. Now, I only have a week to make this horror game, and my 3D modeling skills are, well, they're, they're okay. So I'm going to be using Unity and their high definition render pipeline, HDRP, which are for games that err on the side of more graphical fidelity and realism. And I want to make the most realistic, scary hidden object game. And there's only one thing that can help me accomplish this dream, assets. So I called up Unity. Hey, what's up fam? And they agreed to sponsor this video. So all of the assets I'm gonna use in this video will be 50% off for their summer sale. It starts on July 26th and ends on August 31st. These assets that I recommended are gonna be on sale on the first week. And on the last week of the sale, they'll have a 50% off best of sale with the assets that performed well during the first three weeks. And I'll also have my own landing page with all of the assets that I've recommended. So if you buy from that page, I will get a commission. Let's make that horror game. First, we need to create a new project. Let's select the HDRP template to get started. Now for a horror game, there's three main elements, lighting, atmosphere, and sound. Even without jump scares, all three can be pretty scary if you have the right atmosphere. So I knew I needed to have a good environment so the player can look around and explore the clues. So I chose the Horror Rooms HDRP Collection Bundle and it comes with four different types of environments. I was particularly a fan of the bedroom because I thought there was a lot of space to hide stuff in. You can see how good this environment just looks from all of the textures to the lighting and the intricate details that are placed around the scene. And it already comes with some post-processing, which we can just tweak and make it look a little darker and a little scarier. The next step was to add the hidden objects functionality. So essentially, we're gonna be walking around the scene and we're gonna hide stuff and the player has to collect those items. The idea was that you're kind of stuck in this haunted house and these items are sort of clues as to why this family is possessed in this house. I only did one chapter, which is this bedroom, but hopefully in the future I can add on to it and have more chapters with the other rooms. So I chose some random items and placed them around the scene. And then I used the asset find it hidden object template, which is functionality to make these hidden object games, which is exactly what we need, ironically enough. But they also have a 3D scene. If they're clicking on a hidden object, then it will make the hidden object disappear play a sound effect, remove that item from the UI at the bottom, which tells you what items you need to find. My case wasn't too complicated. I just used their 3D functionality. And then I took a little screenshot of where the items were, edited it in Photoshop so they can be 512 by 512 resolution. And then those are the images that I used for the UI at the bottom. Now making a horror game is great and all, but we need to be able to test it while we're making it to see if it's actually scary. So now it's time to implement the first person controller. So this asset is actually free and it's the modular first person controller. And I actually chose it because it has a lot of the features that we need. It has a built-in camera zoom. It has stamina so we can sprint. It has crouching. It has a reticle, which is that little point in the middle of the screen tells you what you're looking at. And it also has dynamic head bob. So after just plopping that into my scene and changing some of the values, such as disabling jumping, because we don't want the player to jump around like a maniac. We can now walk around in our scene and I was actually getting kind of scared just walking around, <laughs> which is a great sign. It means it's scary. We're on a good, we're on a good track. Now there's already a lot of stuff in our scene and it's getting kind of cluttered. So I also imported the V hierarchy asset which basically extends the existing hierarchy, which tells us what's on our scene. And with that, we don't have to go to the inspector to edit certain values. We can just click on the component we want to edit within the hierarchy and it opens up this little pop-up window where we can edit our values. We can also change the color and icons of our game objects so it can be easier for us to see what item is what. And I really like this asset. Such a simple asset just helps save me so much time just by looking at the hierarchy and trying to find a game object that I had no idea where it went. Now the next step to a horror game that you absolutely need is lighting. So after reducing the lights in the scene and adding a flickering light script to some lamps, 
We needed a flashlight. Tell me you've never seen a horror game without a flashlight. Prove me wrong. Don't, don't do that. Don't prove me wrong, actually. So we can write the code for that ourselves, but why would we do that when we can just download an asset from the asset store? Woo! I love assets. Now the HDRP Horror Room Collection already came with a flashlight object, but now we just needed the light. So for that, we can use the bottometric light beam, which has actually been used in a ton of games already, like Boneworks. Now, I really, really like this asset. They have SD beams and HD beams. SD beams are faster, but more limited. And then HD beams are a little slower, but they have a lot of more features and they look more realistic. I started off with an HD beam and was changing the values. I was looking at other horror games to see how they would do it. So you can change the shape. We can change the jittering. We can change the attenuation. So basically, when does the light start to fall off? We can add 3D noise. We can add flickering dust particles, cookies. No, not that kind of cookie. Cookies basically let you put a texture on the beam which is like a mask to simulate a sort of shadow. And I just couldn't figure it out until I didn't realize that you can right click and create a HD beam along with a light. I finally had the perfect light to go with my perfect environment. And it's really cool. You can also add volumetric shadows in real time. Now it's no fun if you just have the flashlight on all the time. Let's add the functionality to turn it on and off and also give it a battery for more suspense. So I put some batteries around the map and when you collect the batteries, your flashlight gets more power. For the UI slider, I decided to use this dark complete horror UI package, which is super professional by the way. And I'm also gonna use it to make my menu later on. But now we need some challenge. Ho ho ho, what's this? Another asset we can conveniently use in this specific situation? Indeed. We have the Horror Villains Pack 2, which works for HDRP. And it's really creepy. It's really creepy. And it comes with a ton of animations per character. Since my room was rather small, I decided to go with one enemy, the Cruel Doll. So now it's time to code some AI. All right, here's how it's gonna be. There's a nav mesh on the scene. So this nav mesh lets the AI know what areas they can traverse on. We give this Cruel Doll a nav mesh agent. At the beginning, she's just sitting there very creepily. But when the player collects the first item, she gets up and starts to wander around randomly, going to certain waypoints that I placed. If the player comes in contact with her, she'll knife the player and the player will be damaged. However, the player has to be hit two times to die because I was thinking one time would be a little too harsh. <laughs> then after the player collects some other items, she'll be teleported and she won't be a threat to the player for a little longer, but she'll be very creepy, crying, and it's meant to give you suspense. And then when the player's nearing the end of their hidden objects, then she'll drop down from the bean and go to the wave points, but faster and with more threatening music. Now, I would have liked to add more awareness towards the player, being aware of the flashlight and being aware of the player's position if they are making noise on the ground. But we can only do so many things in one way. All right, we have the enemy. Now, oh, this is a Unity pen. <laughs> we need to add some ambiance. Perfect way to do that is with sound. Now, I ain't trying to get a copyright strike, so I used Unity's Horror Ambiances Volume 1 asset, which comes with 20 loopable background horror music. So I chose two that I thought sounded really threatening and fit the atmosphere. And it sounds really creepy. I definitely wouldn't want to be there. I also added footstep sounds to the player, to the enemy, flashlight, turn off and on sound. And then I wanted to make the environment a little bit more creepy. So I used this blood decals and FX package, which comes with dozens of blood decals. So footprints, handprints, letters, figures. It also has like pools of blood that you can use, scratches. So I put those all over the map and the drop of blood near the bedroom just added such a nice <laughs> effect. It's super creepy. All right, and once the players collected all of the items, they can go towards the door. But we need to make them aware that the exit is at the door. So would you have guessed it? Another asset. Hologram Shaders Pro. Works in HDRP. Works in all the pipelines, actually. And I basically made the door really, really bright. 
basically telling the player, look, this is where you're supposed to go. This asset has a lot of cool effects that we can use and even has these glitching effects, which make it even weirder and creepier, which is exactly what we want. For the menu, I use that dark complete horror UI kit that I mentioned. It already has an example scene. And so I just edited it and it looks super, super good, like super professional. And I barely had to do any work. So our game is done. It is running a little slow. So let's optimize it a little bit before we release it. We also have a lot of meshes on the scene, a lot of objects. So for each of these objects, singular objects, we're going to have to be sending a draw call over to the GPU to tell it to render that object on every frame. And there's a lot of stuff. So what you can do is we can group stuff together, group the meshes, combine it. So less draw calls will have to be sent over to the GPU. There's a couple assets that help do this. One of them is scene optimizer, which basically lets you combine these meshes. It lets you cut the meshes and then it includes the stuff that isn't shown. So basically it doesn't show stuff that's not in the camera's view, which reduces CPU load and can have a lot of impact on your game performance. I have a lot of items close together and this is a really small scene, but I was able to save some FPS by combining these meshes. There's also Mesh Baker, which will be on sale later along. And it does let you group these meshes together. It has support for light mapping and it also combines materials together, which can also help a lot with performance. And I didn't use it in this game, but there's also Bakery and it's a light mapper. So light mapping is basically taking all the lights you have on the scene, remembering the shadows and the light intensities. And it basically creates a texture and puts that on your scene instead of having these real time light sources all the time. Now you can remove the real time light sources and bake it and it can save a lot in performance. I was able to gain a lot of FPS and reduce these batch calls, these draw calls. And so with that, our game was done. Now it's time to turn it over to our special guest, the legendary horror creator of Sussy School Grounds a hit viral horror game made in only one hour, Holly Mars Plus Plus. What's up, Sammy M gang? Today we are playing Hidden Effigies. And I know absolutely nothing about this game, but based on whatever this is, I'm already very, very concerned. Oh gosh, this looks scary. Whoa, okay, wait. This is already better than any game I've ever developed in my life. What, what? How? How? What? Why is it so fancy? Why is it so fancy? This is like slightly better than the Sussy School Grounds. Only, only a little, only a little bit. This game is too realistic. I don't like, I don't like horror games that are actually scary. I'm a little concerned. How are the graphics so good? How is this a Unity game? These pictures at the bottom of the screen, I'm guessing I have to find them. Why is there fresh blood on the floor? What the hell? Why is it expanding? What is going on? What is this game? No, get away, get away. I don't want to get jump scared. No, 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 please. What is that? No, get away. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, okay, okay. How do you win? Oh, I found the first thing. There's a, there, there is a thing over. Oh my God, it's moving. It's moving. What the f <laughs> No, it's going toward me. No, stop, 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 stop. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Stop, 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 stop. That right there that I'm pointing at is the second thing on this list right now. I see it, I see it, hello. Oh my God. Why is it so dark? Ah! Ah! Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Hey, what's up? What is this game? Oh my God, stop, stop, it's way too close. It's way too close. Ah! Sorry. I was just over there and it came over there. I thought it couldn't come over there. I was literally just there. No, 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 stop. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Please don't come over here. Please don't come over here. Oh, that's a battery for the flashlight. I see. I don't want to use my flashlight. I'm too scared to. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Please don't, please don't turn. Please don't turn. Please don't turn. Please don't turn. No, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. She blind? I mean, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. I, I didn't know she was stupid. That's awesome. Hey, I'm over here. Come over here. Okay, she doesn't really chase you. Okay, maybe she does. No, she doesn't really chase you. These these assets are so good. Like, literally how? Dude, it's literally her. Why can't I grab it? I think I got stuck. I need to face my fear of this weird thing. 
Oh god, stop, stop, stop. I think she just moves in a path, and as long as you don't get in the way, it's fine. Oh, it's this girl. Okay, there's two of the same girl. What are you? Who are you? Oh my god. Okay. Oh, the, the key, the key, the key. Okay, I'm a lot less scared because I don't think this person's a threat. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, no, see, look, not, not a threat at all. Where's the stupid playing card or the t-shirt? Oh, the t-shirt. What was that? Bro, stop! <laughs> don't do this to me. <laughs> ah! Chill. Stop, stop! Stop, 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 stop. Where are you? Yo, what? Yo, what is all this blood? Yo, this was not here. Stop, 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 stop. Wait, where did my freaking flashlight died? I hate my life. How do dolls have blood, bro? They don't have freaking organs. Oh, what did I just grab? Bro, why is it blood? Okay, goodbye. I need the picture. There's like a photo, like a Polaroid. Probably an aesthetic pic. Can I go here? Is she gonna kill me? Screw it, screw it. Okay, how is there four Polaroids and none of them are the right one, bro? Why is she looking at me now? Wait, hey, do you have any more batteries? Hello, excuse me, excuse me. Do you have any uh batteries for the flashlight or no? Nah? You live here or like, you know where stuff is? You speak English or no? Nah? I got a key. Does the key actually unlock something? Her? Who's her? Yo, I've been everywhere. Oh, I found something. I don't know what it was. It was the... Oh, more more battery, thank God. Wait, turn off, turn off. Oh, these are like photos of, I think, where they actually are on the map as well. So the photos of these things have extra clues, which I guess is pr probably obvious. Bro, I'm so paranoid. Get out, get out, get out. I feel like there's nothing over here, but I'm... Oh my God, oh my God, I'm so smart. I'm so smart, I'm so smart, I'm so smart. I knew it all along. I knew all along it was in here. Wait, come on, come on, please stop, stop. What? Okay, I was about to say, I was about to be so mad. Stop! Stop, stop! What is that noise? What is that noise? Why is the audio doing that? Where are you? Why does it keep doing that? Bro, this is, uh, some of this is more annoying than when you were bawling your eyes out. Freaking pick a struggle, oh my gosh. Oh, I found more batteries. Oh, here it is. Last item. Like, how do I even begin to know where to look for this? When I don't know what, the, what is that? Oh, it's a cigarette tray. Ah, what is that? Oh, it's just the freaking clothes. Where do people keep ashtrays? God, I wish my parents were freaking smokers when I was younger so I would know where people put ashtrays in their houses. Ah! Why is she back? Stop, 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 stop. Why is she running now? She was not that fast before, I swear. Stop! Oh my god, stop, 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 stop. Dude, we're, we're doing the same thing. I'm doing the same thing as her. I'm like... And then she's like... And I'm like... Go back to crying, please. I actually miss when you were bawling your eyes out. Oh my god. Hey. Hey, what's up? Oh, it's on like... Okay, I can look at context. It's on like a black... Sir, okay, everything is that color though. Oh my god. Okay, okay, I was joking, I was joking, I was joking. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. I was joking, I was joking. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Why are you holding scissors? Oh, is that why she was crying? Did she like hurt herself with scissors? That's kind of dark. They make like protectors that you can put over the scissors. Ah! Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh no, no, I was joking, I was joking, I was joking, I was joking. You can keep doing that, just don't don't hit me anymore with your scissors. I checked everywhere! <laughs> Please. Please. Oh, he stopped, I was joking, oh my god. Did I get it? Why does it look like I'm about to go to heaven? So there was an ashtray like right here somewhere. Okay, wait, okay, oh, okay, okay, just go. She's running, she's running. Let's go. Why is the music still so intense? 
We did it. I did not struggle at all there. That was, um, that was really easy. I didn't struggle. Now I am a bit of like a horror game expert. So if you want my rating, how I would rank that game, uh, one to 10, I'll give you a nine out of 10 because you know, a 10 out of 10 is kind of hard to come by when games like Sussy School Grounds exist, but it was a good effort. Before I go, I need to see what happens when you get jump scared. Okay. Terrifying jump scare. I think if I would have known that was the jump scare, I would have probably been less ter terrified. So maybe, um, maybe it's a good thing. I was, that was a pretty horrifying game. Also good, good, uh, good graphics. Peace. That was actually hilarious. I was laughing looking at his playthrough so much. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Remember, these assets are all in the description on my new Unity page. So click it. Show me some love. Subscribe, like if you like this video. Thank you to Unity for sponsoring this video. Thank you to my patrons. And I'll see you next time.